Hi, I'm Sebastian, I'm one of the founders of Audanica and I'd like to show you version 2.0 of SoundPrism and SoundPrism Pro. We've been working on it for the last six months and um, as a result we've come up with a solution that offers you a lot more um, space to uh, play in, as you can see here. Uh, we've redesigned the uh, iPad version to be similar to the former iPhone version and uh, we've come up with a mechanism to hide some features but in a way that still allows you easy access to them. So previously you've had buttons in SoundPrism to switch sounds and now they're not initially visible but you can easily just um, scroll through uh, this column here and you get to the different um, sounds. We've also added or we've also improved the built-in sound engine so we now have uh, some reverb and some delay and we've also got a very new feature uh, which we call the keyboard view and there you can actually see what you're playing or what you would be playing on a keyboard. So let's say um, I'm choosing multiple octaves and I want to play chords. Then this is what I'm actually playing. Um, which should make it a lot easier for musicians to figure out how Sound Prism works and how they can transfer the knowledge uh, that is built into the interface of Sound Prism to playing their uh, the instruments that they usually play, should they be keyboards or guitars or whatever. We've also added a full screen mode for Sound Prism, which allows you to use the whole screen area to play. Uh, to access full screen mode, just check your iOS device. And check it again to leave full screen mode. Another very common request was uh, that our users wanted more sounds. So we've added an uh, in-app store with um, uh, right now just uh, two sound packs but we're going to add more in the future. One of them is free so you can activate it um, directly and uh, let me just demonstrate it. I'm going to choose a different key. So um, I'll leave uh, the other two to, uh, for you to explore. Um, and there's another sound pr uh, pack available uh, which you can purchase which is um, guitar sounds. So I'm going to demo this one real quick. So um, now you can play uh, guitar on Sound Prism without having to add an additional MIDI synthesizer or hardware synthesizer. It just works right out of the box. Um, and as I've said, we've also added um, reverb and delay, so the new sounds sound a lot better than um, yeah the old ones. <laughs> to show you the next new feature, I'm going to close Sound Prism and start Sound Prism Pro. And as you can see, um, we're now supporting multitasking, which means the app doesn't have to uh, start, it just uh, stays in the background. And it also um, means that your MIDI connection will stay um, online if you switch to a different app from SoundPresent Pro. Um, we've also implemented a new um, version of the pitch class shifter which uh, works in a similar fashion but now you don't have to swipe up and down but just tap and uh, 
yeah, thus you can change the pitch classes. Um, yeah, so that is Sound Prism Pro uh, on the iPad. So let's move over to Sound Prism on the iPhone. So this is the iPhone uh, version of Sound Prism Pro. Um, Sound Prism and Sound Prism Pro now support the a gorgeous Retina display of the iPhone 4 and iPod 4, and um, we've also added the pitch class shifter to the iPhone, which means um, now Sound Prism and Sound Prism Pro have uh, the same feature set uh, on each platform, and um, you can use the pitch class shifter on the iPhone as well. Thank you for watching and I really hope you enjoy the new uh, Sound Prism and Sound Prism Pro version 2.0. Bye. Oh wait, uh, I completely forgot to also mention that the new features are uh, uh, available to check out in uh, Sound Prism How To. You don't have to rely on this quick video to find out how they uh, work. We've uh, made a lot of new tutorial videos demonstrating how uh, every new feature works and how you can uh, how you can use it and also please uh, if you're interested in staying up to date with what we're doing uh, follow us on Twitter and uh, on Facebook because we're planning to um, release more new sound packs and new features in the next weeks actually thanks again for watching and this time I'm, I think I'm really done now. Thank you. Bye.